Well, hello there! Haven't seen you in a while. What up all you fish tank and ninjas with fish tank? So we got right here is a video. And what we're going to do in this video is talk to you. Talk about what? Talk to you guys about beauty and beast. What I'm going to do right here is I'm going to update you on what was going on in both tanks all the way up to me leaving on vacation, guys. So first things first, let's talk about beauty. More specifically, let's talk about the blue spot jawfish that you see right here. This beautiful thing that I love so much actually got its name when I guys left you guys. Last time I asked you guys to give suggestions in the comment section and I got some. And what I finally settled upon was something I came up myself while I was watching TV. I named him Spoticus. That's right. Just like the TV show. It's funny. Spoticus getting his name Spoticus is not the only thing that occurred prior to me heading out of town for a little rest and relaxation. Now I also managed to pick up a few fish before I left and what those fish are? Well, I mean I can't really expect you to guess, huh? I got an ornate wrasse, a china wrasse, and I also managed to find a chevron tang. All from my boys at Urban Aquatics. Man, these guys have the best fish, the healthiest fish, and I love the fish I get because most of them, well, all of them do good. I haven't had a problem with one fish. So I'm going to keep getting fish from In case you are wondering though, the only one with the name is my homie covered in the spots. Alright, the two wrasses and the tang never, never did anything or I never had an epiphany of what to call them. So they did not get a name prior to me heading out of town. The fish are not the only new additions in this beautifulness. All right, before leaving, I managed to pick up a few corals. I decided to hit up my local forum where there I found my, who is my friend now, t -Zook, and he was selling higher end zoanthids. Now, if you recall what I said in the past, I suggest starting off easy and slowly progressing to more and more difficult stuff. This is reason is so that you're able to tweak the stuff that you are not doing correctly and lessen the chances of losing losing some of your investment, like your fish or your corals. So I decided to go with the Xanthids for this reason. They're some of the easiest corals to keep, and they come in some crazy, amazing colors. Now, Tezuk was selling some higher-end stuff, and because so, I decided to pick up a few. But I decided to get them about one polyp each Zoanthid. I picked up one Armageddon, one Midas, one Pink Hippo, and five heads of Mohawks. I put them into the tank and just let them do their thing. That's it for beauty. As for beasts though, there's no real new developments. You guys are pretty much caught up with that when I left you. The only thing I could think of is that I was having a pretty hard time finding the the right size tubing to fit that tank. Guys, that's the end of the video. So leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite part of this video was. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I got videos coming at you at least one time a week. Maybe two if you're lucky. Check out my fish tank hooligans. I'm talking about Danny Alano and Fishy Drizzy. And don't forget to do amazing things like go down a dark alley in Korea with a pocket full of money and just see where the night takes you. Till next time, guys, take like a bounce. Bounce.